Hey guys, Chris Schiffel here, and we have been staying in this luxury five-star Hilton in Tel Aviv, Israel, me, and uh, baby Chris Schiffel number one, and also Mrs. Chris Schiffel and baby Chris Schiffel number two. And so we're gonna do a little bit of a room tour here. So as you can see, we got the twin, uh, not twin, sorry, family studio room, which comes with two queen beds. Very nice, uh, pretty high <laughs> quality, um, sheets and everything like that. Oh, sh we're filming a video, baby Chris Schiffel. Anyway, um, so this uh, this room comes with a balcony. All the rooms uh, yeah. do. Uh, let's just go out on the balcony and check it out. Pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, we get a view of uh, on the right. Uh, well, sorry, we'll do the left first. So you got the sea view on the left. Uh, the sea view would be a bit better if we were on a higher floor, but uh, I think because we were traveling with kids, they gave us a, a room on this low floor, so we wouldn't disturb there most valued customers, you know, whatever, it's just part of the door. Uh, and then over this side we have a view of the city of Tel Aviv. Uh, over there you can see a few of the high uh, skyscrapers uh, just over there. Um, check it out. Okay, let's go back into the room and check out a few more things. So this room comes with obviously uh, massive TV uh, like most hotel rooms do. Um, you got all the usual amenities like safe, uh, kettle to make the, uh, the tea in your room. Beverly Hilton, you can learn from this. There's no coffee or tea maker in the room. So the only way to have a hot drink in your room is either to go out and buy takeaway coffee or order room service. Uh, and then obviously you've got this nice writing desk and uh, you can set up your computer here and do some work and all that uh, kind of stuff. Oh look, there's a credit ship room sticker. And as usual, some questionable art on the wall. I think that's uh, impressionism or something. Anyway, it's all about the renaissance guys, the renaissance. Anyway, let's go and check out the bathroom. So this is the bathroom, it's really cool. Um, it's got this, uh, this mirror that makes your face look massive, kind of scary. Um, come over here. So we got this really nice, um, you know, basin with this lights that uh, you can do your makeup. It makes you feel like a hero. It makes you look like a movie star. It's wonderful. And the bathroom comes with both a shower and a bath. And uh, just excuse this uh, big yellow duck thing. You know, that's what happens when you have kids, right? Uh, but if you look closely over here, you can see there are actually jacuzzi jets in the bath. So you can sit here and you can have water blowing on you in a wonderful jacuzzi. Uh, it's really awesome. Just one problem with this shower though, which uh, Hilton, maybe you can fix this, is unfortunately, the shower doesn't go all the way up. It, uh, it drops down. There's no way to, to do that. So maybe you can fix that, guys, uh, for next time. One little caveat about this bathroom, though, that you gotta be really careful with, if you got this uh, floor-to-ceiling window uh, that looks out, towards a lot of other buildings with balconies where people sit outside smoking and having a coffee or eating or whatever. Uh, so you just gotta be really careful not to be naked in here if that, uh, if that blind is open. Obviously I'm not naked right now, uh, but if I was naked, I would make sure I pulled that blind down. Uh, so that's a little bit of the bathroom tour. Oh, also guys, you get these, uh, these fantastic products. And uh, if you're a Hilton Gold member, uh, it also comes with a free gift, which was some other uh, facial products, which I think Mrs. Krauschefu was already yeah. stolen. And you get this free loofah thing, that, which is a kind of a, a kind of fat, fat scratcher thing, which is really, really good. <laughs> All right, guys, let's now go and have a look. Let's go now and have a look at some of the other areas of the hotel, like the pool, the breakfast, and the executive room. Let's go. After arriving in Tel Aviv, which is a cool city, kind of reminds me a little of Barcelona, we drive to the Hilton. Your destination is on the left. Apart from the disappointment of the room being on a low floor, which we already mentioned, most other things about this hotel were top notch. The lobby is really stylish, the welcome fruit, chocolates and wine were great. They thought I was a woman, which wasn't so great, but I forgive them, they're way better at my language than I was at theirs. The fixtures and fittings were all good quality. The location of this hotel is great, right on the cliff top above the beach. And the pool also looks out onto the beach, great for relaxing. You can also walk along a cliff top path at sunset and watch the sun go down. I was going to get some drone shots of the hotel and the coastline, but I couldn't. Because of this. Yep, 
planes fly past the beach really low, literally at the height I would fly a drone at. But I hope you enjoy these shots of the beach and the sunset anyway. Now let's look at the breakfast. It seems all the room rates that this hotel offers actually include breakfast, which was a really pleasant surprise. And breakfast is pretty great. I must have eaten more hummus in those few days than in my whole life. If you've only ever had hummus in America, you haven't really had hummus. One of the highlights of the breakfast was this cheese selection with an actual honeycomb that you can scrape honey off. The salad bar with olives, there's the hummus again, fresh fruit and this incredible orange juice machine. One of the only things I found strange was the orange juice machine and the espresso machine didn't run on a Saturday. Yep, the machines had to rest for the Sabbath day too. And that seems to be true with espresso machines across Israel. Here's one in an airport lounge resting with a cloth over it. You really can't complain, it's their tradition, but I do love a good cappuccino. Can I find a Christian coffee machine who's willing to work on a Saturday? Hilton Gold members get access to the executive lounge. Officially, you have to book through Hilton to get this. I actually booked two nights through Chase, which uses Expedia, and one night directly. But the hotel gave me access for the whole time. A great place to get a cappuccino, except on a Saturday, and it's on the 12th floor, so you get a really great view as well. All in all, this hotel gives you good vibes and leaves you feeling refreshed and ready to go explore the city or drive up to the north of this small country for your friend's wedding, which is what I was here for. Just lastly, how much did it cost? Well, I redeemed 47,000 chase points plus $393 for two nights and paid $529 for another night directly with the hotel. So I paid $922, working off the assumption that each night cost $529, which is a total of $1,587 for three nights. That 47,000 chase points got me a 42% discount on my stay. I also earned 1,180 chase points and 20,907 Hilton points by taking advantage of a double points offer. That's enough for one night in the most grimy, dingy Hampton Inn somewhere in the countryside of the United States. Anyway guys, I thoroughly recommend this hotel and visiting Israel. I didn't get to spend much time exploring, but I did shoot a little bit of vlog content that I may upload to this channel later this week. Leave your thoughts below, subscribe if you are new, and we will see you next time. Bye bye.